Hi, this is Tommy Scholl, creator of Brax Magnetic Construction Toys. In a prior video, I showed you how to make just a basic four-sided structure with a sloped roof. Now what we'd like to do is build a second floor and we'll put a ceiling on there and make it um, a little playable. You can use action figures or toy do dolls. So what we're going to do first is take off the roof. We'll set that to the side. And I explained in the, uh, the first video, I have two ceiling corner connectors here and then just two regular connectors. When you're putting a floor on or a ceiling, you don't need to use four ceiling corner connectors. You can and it's perfectly fine. It makes it a little more stable. But most, uh, most sets have more corner connectors. So let's use, more, let's use the corner connectors here and we'll save these for later if we need to, uh, to build some more ceilings. So we start um, with your basic structure and the two ceiling corner connectors. And just like I showed you in the in a prior video, we'll use some planks here. These are three by sixes. We'll place that there. And to connect the other ceiling piece, we're going to use a support connector and another support connector. And we'll snap that right on. Now in the in the first video I was showing uh, when this structure was built, I was calling this a flat roof. But now it's not going to be a flat roof, it's going to be a ceiling and a floor for our second floor. So let me find the right here. These are your floor corner connectors. Much like the ceiling corner connectors, you have the two magnets there and then you have the connector to the floor or ceiling. This magnet's been flipped around so it'll attach to the top of your ceiling or at the bottom of your floor. You snap those into place, leave the two magnets facing out for your walls. And we're going to do the same thing as I explained with the ceiling corner connectors. You only need to use two of these. You can conserve these and use these for another floor higher up or for some other part of the structure. Because most people don't have as many of these floor connectors as they do regular corner connectors. So we're just going to use regular corner connectors to connect these walls. So again, I'll use some windows since, I, since they're, uh, they're pretty neat and I have them handy. There's another ceiling or another window panel. Those are four by sixes. And again, we're using the framers sets here that are a little higher and you can play with them. I'm not using any particular set though, so I'm not limited by uh, the number of pieces I have in any particular set. So there's your two walls. I can pre attach that corner connector and put another corner connector over here. Now I could, you can see there's a little bit of movement here. I could. I could just use another floor connector and it would be very solid. I could do that and maybe I will right now just to show you how all the parts are used. So I'll replace that and I'll put another uh, floor corner connector back there. Now for the front, let's put another window on there since those are neat. I'll put a window there. I'll put another window in the back. So there's your structure so far. From there, it'd be the same thing to do your roof. I really don't need any ceiling corner connectors. I just need these to support the roof that I have sitting over here that I pre-made from the prior video. I'll snap those corner connectors on. Now it's a very solid structure. You can see inside. Now I'll use the, the prior peaked roof I had before. So there's your structure right there. And it's pretty basic, not, not anything special. But here's how you could use it to play with too. You could, let's say you had some action figures. The, the reason the framer set was made was to make it a little taller. So you could use three, three and a quarter, uh, three and a half, three and three quarters, four inch action figures. They fit right in that door. Another thing, if you're playing with it and you want to be able to reach in there, sort of like a dollhouse, you can actually take off one wall, and you can use these and place your roof on there and then you have access in here and you can play with your action figures or your small toy dolls. You could also only put a, a 3 by 3 spot in, a 3 by 3 panel in here, leave a spot open for access, much like a, where steps might be and you can have access to the bottom floor as well. And you could actually do the same thing on this floor. You can take that out if, if you want to play with it. 
with some action figures. So we have your supports here, and you have full access here to play with it with your action figures or your toy dolls. And that is how you build a two-story structure. If you want to see more videos on how to build some BRAC structures, you can go to YouTube or to clickclackbracks.com and visit us there and see what other people are building as well. So go out and build something cool on your own. Thanks.